recording, start timer, switch the game. Okay. So, um, let's see. So apparently during Rome in its time, women were not given first names. I'm gonna play as a female. Just go for a good portrait. Ooh, that's kind of cool actually. I got a spy to assassin. Um, so we might go with that. Okay. And uh, yeah, we'll go with that. And it looks like she might have a bun. Braided bun. Single braid. We'll go with single braid. Doesn't have to look exactly like the picture. It's dark. So Cornelia Regilia. Next we're gonna choose uh, this is the hard part because there's so many good options for pathos. So um sound logic and arguments. I'm gonna go with pathos. Ah, oh my gosh, this sucks. Yeah, let's go with because we're gonna play her as a I think you can choose the other ones eventually. But I don't know, so we'll find out. Final companion character you can recruit for your party to use the DLC Gladiator class. I'm gonna go ahead and activate that. Not sure what class will make her yet. Did you hear me, Domina? Your body is surely present, but your mind seems somewhere else. It soothes the soul, doesn't it? I had come to think that this sea was so blue in my memories, only because I was young the last time I saw it. But I remembered right. I asked the Triarchus how close we are to Lesbos, but uh, he would not give me a straight answer. Indeed. In his defense, there are many islands on this sea, and they mostly look the same. Will you check with the Triarchus? Hopefully he will give you a clearer answer. He, if nothing else, you do have a way of making unreasonable people see reason. You should also go and thank Quintus Aquilin. Your mother paid Geminus handsomely to set off in great haste under cover of night. Two others did board with us, also bound for Lesbos. Young Gaius has been pacing impatiently over there, wearing grooves into the deck. There was a gladiator too, but I don't know where he went. Do not worry. The Witellius brothers have no reason to do them any harm. Besides, you cannot save them by worrying. Thank you for bringing me along. It will be wonderful to see my homeland again. 
Uh, you found your sea legs quickly, Domina. You handle the sea better than most. I'm glad. You are not my subordinate. Please, call me Kaiser, if it isn't too familiar. My subordinates call me Kenturio. My superiors call me Aquilinus. My friends call me Kaiser. With all due respect, I'd better not. Ah, she did not keep you apprised. Your mother has secretly been making arrangements with the Consul. You will, of course, not participate in the war in any capacity. You are a woman. That is completely out of the question. One word of advice. I know Lucullus is a friend of your family, but remember, he is the Consul, elected by the people to rule all of Rome. It's best if you don't act too familiar with him in front of his men. For many years, I was the Primus Pellis of Legia Prima Italica, which he commands. He needed someone he could trust to get you out of Rome, keep you safe. So as far as I know, Lucius, most of these people are actually real people. I'll have to do more research on it as I play. Um, but as far as I, I've already, I've gone through, I haven't beat it yet, but I've gotten quite a bit playing um, just for fun. Um, so this, so that I can be kind of ready for when I actually play it in front of the camera and everything. But yeah, so as far as I understand, these are real people, or they were, most of them are historically real people. That position has already been filled by one of my Kenturionis. A good man, easily up to the task. My job now is to watch your back and help you settle into your new life. Happy to be at your service. I had a brief talk with that gladiator who boarded before us, just to make sure he won't give us any trouble. He seems to have vanished, though. The young man over there, Gaius, is apparently the nephew of the other consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotta. He's here to become a tribunus, a mostly ornamental position intended for young patricians to learn about military affairs. Okay, so it's start talking to people. I heard she's running from a senator who wants her dead. So wait. Shh. Keep your voice down. We'll talk to Gaius. It is a pleasure. I am Gaius Julius Caesar. So, as far as I understand, Caesar is where the term Caesar originated from because uh, Julius Caesar. And Caesar is the term, well, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Caesar is the title of the emperor, uh, and it carried down um, from emperor to emperor after, and I believe it was um, Augustine. No, it was. Oh, who was it? I can't remember. Anyways, so I'm wondering if Kaiser is the the origins of the term Caesar. Not at all. Because but keep in mind, I'm not the most experienced soldier either. Um, just because they're spelled the same way, so I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it: is Kaiser, not Caesar. I was born in Rome, but they say my family is from Alba Longa. That's a long story, my friend. Suffice to say, the powers that be are not fond of me. I have decided that staying in Rome could be, shall we say, hazardous to my health. 
To be honest, this will be my first proper battle. I did study a lot though, and therefore I am well versed in matters of strategy and tactics. <clears throat> if you don't play an important part, you will be torn apart. My father used to say, I guess that was his way of telling me to be brave and hopefully not stupid. So, guys are... Julius... What is he looking for? He's been like this Kaiser. all morning. Kaiser. Mm -hmm. I'm watching the sea. There's something... You're right. The rowers are getting tired. We should let them rest soon, but that will cause even more delay. Wait. That ship. They're headed straight towards us. They're gonna ram! Get your father's weapons. Let's see if you're as formidable a woman as Lucullus said. Lucullus, that was a real story. I'm fine, Kenturio. Form up! Let's get these pirates off our ship! Gladiator who boarded with us. Up there. Never underestimate the value of an impressive entrance.
That thing. I've lived other lives before this one. Asshole barbarians! <sighs> the three of us run us straight into the pirate ambush, Freeman. Allow me to execute him right here and right now. This traitor must be walking with them. I will make him pay for his betrayal. It is quite unusual for pirates to attack any ship, let alone a heavily armed Roman galley. They prefer to attack lightly defended coastal towns instead. It's less risky and more profitable. Well, let's go talk to the man. Geminus, you steered us into a trap. What do you have to say for yourself? I had nothing to do with it, I promise. They came out of nowhere. Silence! You utter nonsense! By Mars, it is the sea! How can anyone come from Mori? We cannot execute a man based on no evidence. Besides, we need our Triarchus to make it safely ashore. What are you doing? I'm just a humble Cantorio, albeit a particularly well-dressed one. Lucullus has greater plans for you. Your father's dead. The time to rely on others to make difficult decisions for We are close to our destination, and we can reach it without him. If there is a possibility that he is working with the enemy, we cannot risk to let him live. Mercy, doubt, Hesitation. These are all openings that the enemy can exploit to kill you. This man's value to us is far less than the threat he may pose. We are many of us important people on our way to join the action against Lesbos. Is it not conceivable that the rebels heard of us? The Kingdom of Pontus is known to sponsor pirates, to harass and weaken Rome. I do not believe we have any reason to suspect our Triarchus of colluding with them. So, I typically have spared him based on the fact that later on there's a quest. Anyways, he can, he can be useful in the future, and I understand that. And I wanna, you know, kinda do a nice playthrough. But at the same time, I don't really have evidence. I know he, I mean, there's not enough evidence, so I'm going to let him live for now. Very well. We shall spare his life. But remember, 
Mercy is a luxury you will not always be able to afford. A wise choice, my friend. Killing the Triarchus of our ship in the middle of the sea would have been... inconvenient, indeed. Thank you. If you ever again need the help of a skilled navigator, I am at your service. Rowers, up the tempo! And keep your eyes open. So, yeah. Um, so, I like this game. I also downloaded and installed um, Expeditions Vikings, which I will play probably an hour of that. I have not played that yet. It just finished installing. What do I want to be? I kind of like... I kind of like this one, Princeps, just because I do like the armor. But I haven't tried some of these other ones. I have not tried Gladiator. I have not tried... Triaris. Ooh. Oh. I haven't played an archer, Sagittarius. Um, I have played a Veles. I have played a Princeps. So for the sake of this gameplay, I might actually play Triaris. And I might actually do death. <laughs> I might actually do uh, destroyers. Because we've already got a medic. And I still get cool armor for the most part. can change names of uh, followers later on, so I'll probably do that. Oh, um, so just let me know if you have a request. Unfortunately, they're pretty much males, so female names probably wouldn't work. Unless I can edit that, I'm not sure. I haven't gotten into that, so we'll see. Act 1, Asia Minor. First century BC. Gentlemen, Domina, welcome, welcome to, to Lesbos. Lesbos. The Pearl of the Mediterranean. <laughs> An ugly nest of pirates. An impenetrable fortress of pirates, more like. With an infinite food supply thanks to the strength of their fleet. We shall find a way to limit this infinite supply, then. You think like an Imperator, Gaius? All right, people. This is Lucullus's war camp. The heart of our operations in this territory. You have been seaborne for a long time now. I suggest you walk it off. See the things you have to see, and meet the people you have to meet. The consul waits in the command tent. Don't be too late if you don't want to see him angry. A word. Shall I leave you alone, Domini? Stay, Zoe. Your help might be necessary. You'll be tested on more occasions than you can imagine. But this is not one of those. 
I want to make sure we're on the same page. You're not here to fight. I'm gonna go with number two because that's true. Um, but at the same time, this is Rome, and this was during a time that women were not allowed to fight. So I don't want to... I'm gonna roleplay. This I feel like would be something that modern day would say. <laughs> or maybe not, actually. Women come and go. It is not so uncommon for officers to be visited by friends or family. What the Canturio is trying to say is that perhaps it is wiser to keep a low profile. For the time being. Of course. Domina. I am hungry and my face is wind burnt, but at least both of my feet are planted on solid ground now. To save your life, of course. She firmly believes the Witelli killed your father. Sending you here was the best course of action. Most great men of Rome have made names for themselves on campaigns like these, it is true. But you are not a man, Domina. Making a name for yourself under these duplicitous circumstances may not be the safest course of action. Dominus Lucius Licinius Lucullus was a close friend of your father's, and a supporter of your mother's efforts. He is now the closest thing you have to a father. Besides a good wine, a warm bath, and a thorough massage, uh, not much. Thank you. But you should think I would get used to my surroundings and visit the Consul as soon as possible. We're here to accomplish something. Time to find out what it is. Salve. I am called Bester Tabat, indeed. You fight well. I noticed it. You may ask, and I may answer or not. I was born in Mauritania, but I am a Roman citizen. Until I undertook this voyage, I fought every single day in the arena. At wars, this will be my first. I recommend you to not die. Honor matters little. He who stands tall in the end will always be a winner. They say Lucullus has the greatest military mind in Rome. I only know he is consul and imperator, but I don't understand what that means. This is my first time seeing a senator outside of the spectator stands. Ben, from what I have heard, we are in good hands. It will be an honor to fight for such a man. He will fail again and cause the death of someone you care about. And that death will be your doing. Mark my words. Your name is unusual. <laughs> Tabat is the name that was given to me by my father. Vesta is the name I took. Huh? How long are they going to keep us here? It's driving me crazy too. I can't sure, Agrippa, harassing that old service with the limp again. That small dick bully. Did you tell this is not, not going to work, work as, as long, long as, as the rebels, rebels keep receiving supplies by sea. We will need to cut their supply lines. It's an operation for our occulta speculatoris. Straight to business. You are your father's daughter indeed. Very well. Let us skip the greetings. The occulta speculatoris are 
shall we say, a special cohort assembled for particularly daring undertakings. And you will have to prove yourself as part of it. Who told you that? Listen. Claudiana is protective as a mother should be, but I know how your father raised you. You will not be best served by wandering this camp aimlessly for the duration of my campaign. Your skills make you far too valuable an asset to waste like that. A trial by fire is what you need. Now pay attention. We've been in a deadlock here on Lesbos for some time now. My co-consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotter, is engaged against King Mithridates of Pontus in the east. Mithridates is using the pirates of Lesbos as his navy. The fortress of Mytilene here is well protected, but it also has a weakness. There's a mountain pass we can utilize. I will lead the assault myself. I volunteer for the vanguard. If my uncle can defeat Pontus, I can surely handle Mytilene. So be it then. Meanwhile, you will prove yourself as a leader, my young ward. Take Caeso, Quintius Aquilinus, your service, Cineros, and that gladiator who came with you on the ship. You will meet up with Julius Calidus of my legion's speculatories. Your mission is to sneak into the harbor and destroy the enemy ships any way you can. I expect you have questions. You have nothing to fear from Julius Calidus. I know him well. You can trust him. If you are fast, you may yet play a part in that. But for the assault to succeed, you must do this first. That doesn't make what we're doing any less important. Mathedates has a dozen warriors for each of our legionari. Defeating Pontus will require patience and caution. Regaining control of the Agaian Mari is a crucial step in cutting off Mithridates' supply lines. Wait, are those your father's old weapons? I'm sure they mean a lot to you, but look, the leather is brittle. This won't do. Visit my smith, Sextus, and get yourself properly equipped before you go. Solway. Interesting. <laughs> I shall accept this as a compliment, but prepare to be disappointed. To the extent of my knowledge and ability, I shall try to be as helpful as I can. Indeed, staying in Rome became, shall we say, politically disadvantageous to me. That's why I left it. Like you, I've never been to Lesbos before. I did my homework, though, in case you have any questions. Lesbos is one of the most important islands on this sea. Some cartographers call it the Horse Island on account of its shape. Location, I would guess. The island has countless coves and natural harbors for pirate ships to hide in, not to mention the massive fortress in Mutilene. Be that as it may, their position here is superior. Mutilene is right next to the sea, and their fleet brings them supplies constantly. It's a stalemate. Of course. Does it matter? For the sake of this discussion, let us say he was a traitor. In the end, we are triumphant and the pirates are dead. The Triarchus, if indeed he worked with them, now knows he picked the wrong side. In a war like this, Allegiances are rarely about ideology. The common person wants nothing more than to be on the winning side, and we have shown Geminus that the winning side is ours. Well, well taken. It's a good, that's a good that. Fascinating, isn't it? The Legion can build a fortified camp like this almost overnight. In my opinion, that is the foundation of Rome's military might. Wait, listen, you seem trustworthy. I may have need for your help on a rather sensitive matter. That is good to hear. Keep in mind the matter I'm about to mention is rather personal in nature. Your discretion would be appreciated. I've been keeping a detailed account of our journey ever since we left port. Shortly after our arrival, however, the journal went missing. 
I believe it to be stolen by one of the Kentoriones. I'm reasonably sure. The journal might be misplaced, but I find this to be improbable since I write regularly. I have seen a particular man walking out of my tent. As a matter of fact, I have already confronted him and he pretty much admitted his guilt. Pain comes in many forms, physical, emotional, and let us say that some men just enjoy inflicting pain in all forms. That I have already tried. He threatened me in a way. He said if I continue bothering him, he would read the contents of my journal publicly. I can stand by my decisions and I'm proud of my actions. It's just that I don't want some donkey-headed brute reciting them in public. Roman law is valid in Rome, and our perpetrator knows this. This is a personal matter, and therefore it should be solved personally. The Kenturio is called a gripper, I think. He hangs out with his friends near the tent over there. I thought perhaps you could convince him to hand over my journal. Needless to say, I would like to keep the contents of the journal private. I would appreciate if you'd refrain from reading it. So we don't have money, I don't think. So I'm gonna try this. That other legion. A bit wet behind the ears, aren't they? Everyone starts out that way. True enough. Soon they'll be veterans too. Okay, another quick save real quick, just right before I do it. Oh, they'll be dead. We're in the middle of something, Dobbit. This? Ah, but this is priceless. A journal written by Cotter's stupid nephew, who thinks of himself as the greatest commander history has ever seen. Why don't you send him back here to beg for it again? Oh, I do have some money to do it. Hmm, all right. I guess you rich kids stick together. Take it, and let's not speak of this again. There we go. It's good that I chose that uh, line to go down. Or that tree. Solway, I see you have successfully retrieved my journal. May I ask how you managed it? What can I say? I'm not surprised. One last question before we're done. Did you read my journal? That is the most virtuous thing to do, and I expected nothing less of you. Thank you, my friend. To see if I would indeed read. To see if I would read the journal. What are you doing walking around with weapons like that, girl? said it. I guess I'm obliged to make it true. Help yourself to any of the gear on the racks. Take all of it if you need it. I have enough work on my hands right now supplying the Consul's Kenturiones. You'll have to bring your own materials if you want any work done. I have nothing to spare.
do this there. Okay, I'm back. Let me resume the timer. We got about 15 minutes left. Oops. Um, that's fine. So I'll edit this video. post it up on Facebook and um, YouTube and then I might post a little clippy clippy on uh, <clears throat> on TikTok and Instagram Today, Fortuna smiles on you, traveling along a dusty path. You catch a glimpse of a colorful tent cloth around a bend and decide to investigate cautiously. What you find is a small camp seemingly packed up in, a quiet, in quite a hurry. A bunch of stuff left behind. Regalia. Collect any items of value left behind. There's a war going on. If these people had to leave their camp in such a hurry, they're unlikely to ever return. You instruct your people to collect whatever they can. They find a value and then you move on. Okay. Um, okay, we're about to enter the warehouse. We're gonna take these people with us. I might be at the wrong spot. There's no one here. Lucullus is clearly mistaken. If there was someone here, I would know. That's a very useful skill. Hey, don't move. Calm down. I am Julius Calidus of the Occulta Speculatoris of Legio Prima Italica. I presume you are my reinforcements. The only way I can think of to destroy a navy on foot is to burn it down. Some Greek fire sure would be useful for that, wouldn't you say? Conveniently, there is a whole warehouse full of it right down there. Unfortunately, the moment we move into that warehouse, they will sound the alarm. So, we should be quick. By the time anyone comes from the city, we're long gone. There's a small camp of sentries just down this hill. If we hit them first, they won't show up as reinforcements. But then the ones inside the warehouse will hear the fighting and be ready for us. You have touched the matter with a needle. The choice is yours, Primo. Look alive! The Romans are here! 
How did they get so close?
Tango. Help me, and I shall help you when you are in need. It's all right. You're going to live. I'll shoot as soon as I see them.
last. We are nearly done. Okay, so I don't know how I'm supposed to heal these people because I don't have any healing stuff. Can't use shield. Okay. I'll go ahead and save it here. Check the timer real quick. It went off, so we're gonna go ahead and end. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, and I will edit this, upload it, and do another one. It won't be after this. There'll be roughly about 30 minutes. All right. So see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.